heck? Kendall left me these two ornaments on my desk. She said she forgot to give them to me for Christmas. Look how cute they are. Me. Look at the cow. If you guys aren't aware, I'm obsessed with cows. They're my favorite animal ever. I love them. I think they're like the cutest things ever. I love the cows. They're so cute. Well, besides dogs. Dogs are the cutest things ever, but second to that, cows. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh, thank you for filming this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we missed the action. We did. I like how we both pulled out our cameras the exact same time. I need to have this one. Do you need help? <laughs> I want to give it to you, but I'm also going to vlog this because they're so cute. Okay, close your Are eyes. You right now? Yeah. Oh. I have a gift. Hmm. Close your eyes. Good. For Jessica. Hold on. Heck, why they look so weird? Oh, that's why. Okay. Tee <laughs> Look how cute. Okay, ready? Yep. Open your eyes. Oh, stop it. I know, right? Janelle. Aren't they so cute? Oh I fucking God, threw up when so I saw them. They're so cute. The little tie-dye target target crocs. They're little target crocs. Dude, they're so I saw them, cute. I was like, oh my god. And this is like they have to. They're not too young, so she could probably actually wear them and like Kayla and I found them. We stand in them. Yeah, we were like, okay, what size, what year is or well, how many months is this size? Oh. And it's around like a year. So yeah. hopefully she'll be like kind of toddling around then. Oh my gosh, yes. The they're little so tie-dyes. I know. Stop it right now. These are so cute. They're so cute. I want to have matching ones. Dude, the Target shoot section was fucking me up, though. There are so many cute ones. Oh, oh my God. Shoes. That's bad. There was these um, high top sneakers that were like little zippers on the side, and they were like pink, and I was oh like, oh, my God. Dying. They were so cute. Oh. <laughs> I've bought her so many pairs of shoes already. It's, it's, I'm trying to buy one. All right. Got home from work. The sesh was really fun to edit or to film today. And now we're eating some mushroom raviolis from Trader Joe's. And we're having some Humboldt Fog cheese. This is some of the best cheese ever. I don't know where else they sell it besides King Supers, but if you guys ever find Humboldt Fog, it's so, so delicious. Thought I'd give you guys a plant update. They don't look too different, but they're definitely starting to grow. What is this guy? This is a Roma tomato. I've heard that I should behead this guy like right here or something, because I guess it will grow more peppers if you do that. I saw that on TikTok. This guy is definitely grown. Wow. Oh, is that the cat? There's a cat in this window. Maggie can't stand it. Oh no, Miss Maggie, is that a cat? Oh no, honey. She gets very upset with cats. Where's the cat? So this guy's definitely getting taller. This guy's definitely getting taller. This guy's still tiny, but he'll get there. My perennial is looking good. He's sprouting up nicely. These guys are kind of a gamble. Like sometimes, cause they, I grew them last year and then I left them out here all, all winter they're supposed to survive fine but i don't know i think like this guy seems fine this guy seems all right so i think most of them are okay this guy's thriving p.s do you like our forest of weeds we're growing isn't that lovely we need to do something about that but they just this area over here is so bad like honestly the person who owns this house needs to rip everything out and just like redo it because it's impossible to keep up with these weeds my mint is looking good it's starting to grow and my flowers are looking pretty good actually i need to prune them this is one of the ways that you can make sure your flowers really multiply is by picking off any of the like dead parts and then my next project is to clear this out and replant. Uh, this is my little garden bed. John and I actually made this thing. It was so fun to make. I mean, John definitely had the brains behind it. I just held things in place. I need to rip all of this old crap out and put more stuff, all new stuff in there. But that is a task and I haven't gotten around to it yet, but hopefully I can do it soon, maybe this weekend.
So in my last vlog, I showed you uh, that I got this from Costco and I really want to try to make it. Ignore my spray tan, it's kind of messed up. Oh well. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna try and make this instant boba because I love boba and I really want it. So I'm gonna see if this is any good. I really hope it is. I have high expectations. So there's a few ways to make it. I'm just gonna do the microwave one because I'm really lazy. So it says cut boba packet and place in a cup, place in microwave for 45 to 60 seconds, okay? Okay, then it just says to get a glass of milk with ice and pour in the boba mixture. It looks good, but does it taste good? Yeah. It's aight. It's not as good as regular boba. The milk tea is a little bit bland. Like I feel like there's too much milk, but I measured it out. Set a cup, put a cup in there. And um, the boba has good flavor, but it's a little too soft. So maybe next time I'll microwave it for less. Cause it said 45 to 60 seconds and I did 60 seconds. So maybe that was my bad. It's not that good. Kind of tastes just like milk with some sweet balls. So it's the next day now and I'm at the office and look at Charles. He demanded to sit in my lap. Normally, he sits under the desk in this little boy bed. Today, Cookie and Maggie came to the office with me because John went in. Usually, he works from home, but today he went in. So I brought them with me. Cookie! And usually, Charlie sits there in his little boy bed, but today he was demanding that he sits in my lap. And he's just making lots of noises. What are you doing, buds? It's kind of hard for mommy to work like this. I'm just editing Kendall's video. Just got the footage this morning. Oh, wow, you make a lot of sounds, pal. Okay, kind of a brat, but you're a cute brat. Hi, three pups. Look how cute my babies are. Three baby butts. What are you three idiots up to? My babies. My babies are the cutest. All right, I'm home now and I'm going to make salmon and couscous and asparagus. Forgot what it was called for a second. <laughs> Salmon's so easy to make. You can literally put like anything on salmon and it turns out good. So this is like a mini episode of Dinner Bell with Janelle because it's not gonna take me that long and it's like not that exciting. John didn't know that I wanted to film it and already started preparing it. So he took these salmons and put olive oil, salt, and pepper on them. But I'm gonna go ahead. Sorry, the lighting's really janked right now. There, that's better. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some garlic on it and some lemon and then some more seasoning. And I'm gonna throw it into here. All right, then I'm gonna use some lemon and garlic uh, flavor god and some everything seasoning flavor god. This stuff, 
is really good. It has a bunch of different spices in it. And it's good on everything. And I'm just gonna kinda massage that for a sec. Flip it over. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the um, onion salt that I bought from Trader Joe's. And then last but not least, some lemon juice. All right, salmon looks very cute. And I'm gonna put it in the oven at three, uh, what is it, 375 I think? Or what did I do? I did 400 for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. And then I'm gonna cook the couscous. Now the couscous is not fancy guys, okay? It's just regular old Near East Pearl Couscous with roasted garlic and olive oil. I literally think you just like boil it. Combine water, olive oil, pearl couscous, bring it to a boil. Okay, we'll do. All right, I'm also going to add a uh, bird and veggie bouillon cube to the couscous and water just because, I don't know, when it's boiling in just water, it's literally just soaking up the flavor of water and that's no fun. So I like to, whenever I'm doing this, or like, um, what is the other one? Not rice, um, quinoa, that's what it is. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this thing called? Um, anything like that, I like to put in some type of flavor at least so it can soak up something that's a little more interesting than water. Also, I've read some comments. You guys told me to get the better than bouillon uh, cube, like little jars. I have those, they're really good. Um, but I just have one left of this garden cube, so I'm just gonna use that. But yeah, better than bouillon, so good. They got some really good flavors. All right, so because my salmon pieces were long and skinny, they cooked really fast. They only needed about like 15 minutes. So they are done. And my couscous is looking good. It's getting pretty close to being done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cook up my asparagus. We bought these like frozen packs from Costco and it says to just microwave it on high for four and a half to five minutes. So I'm gonna do that, but then there's no like flavor on these and that's annoying. So I'm gonna saute them for a bit with like just some seasoning, olive oil. I ran out of garlic sadly, but I'll just throw some seasoning in there and maybe some lemon. Okay, these spare guy, <laughs> spare guy, are really limpy. So I'm hoping they'll kind of like stiffen up and get a little bit more substance to them and body once I saute them. But anyways, I'm gonna add the onion salt from Trader Joe's again. And I'm gonna add a good amount because these are flavorless as of now and that's lame. And I just threw them in some butter. So I'm hoping they can kind of crisp up and then I'm gonna throw some lemon in there to brighten it up at the end. Okay, my couscous is pretty close to being done here. It needs to thicken up a little bit, but I think it'll do better if I turn the heat off. Asparagus is, I don't really know what it's doing. It might never get crunchier or more stiff. But either way, I'm gonna throw a little thing of butter in here towards the end to just make it delicious and shiny and pretty and buttery. <laughs> All right. Here's dinner. My asparagus never really got hard, sadly, but everything else looks pretty bomb.